Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about the use of inline function in C++. The inline function is totally different from normal function. In normal function, when we do function call, the compiler jump to the function every time. While in inline function, each time there is a function call in the source file, the actual code from function is inserted instead of a jump to the function. The inline function are also designed to speed up the program. Right? The other distinction between normal function and inline function is the different compilation process for them. Inline function runs a little faster than the normal function. The coding of inline function is like normal function except that the inline function definition start with the inline keyword. To define inline function, we use the keyword inline, then return type of the function, then name of the function, then pass the parameter, then body of the function. Display function display the value of n. Then inside the main function we have to call the function. We are calling the inline function four times. And passing integer argument. Four, fourteen, twenty-four, and thirty-four. In this code, we have created an inline function display, and this function takes a single integer as a parameter. And this function call four time in the main function with different argument and each time display is called the compiler copies the code of the function to that call location. We can also use inline function in the classes. First of all create the class. class abc and class having the public inline function and class body and with the closing curly braces and semicolon inside main function create the object of class a1 is the object of abc class now assess the member function of a class with object and dot operator a1 dot display a1 dot display a1 dot display a1 dot display in normal function when we do a function call the compiler jump to the function definition again and again but in inline function the actual code from function is inserted instead of jump to a function. Run this code. Now after the execution of this code, the values are to be displayed onto the screen. There is one important point regarding the inline function. Compiler may not perform inlining. If a function contains a static variables, if the function is recursive, and if a function contains looping statements, and if a function contains a go to or switch statement. And the last point is if the function return type is other than void 
and the return statement does not exist in the function body. This is all about the inline function. Thank you.